I don't remember. This is the start of the vlog. Are you filming? Yeah, it's just a sideways vlog with like no context. What's up, vlog? What does it smell like in here? Bayside breeze? <laughs> it does smell like Bayside breeze. Let's just leave the car running with the garage closed. Sick. Thank you. Seatbelt on vlog. Put your <laughs> vlog belt on. You're like struggling so hard. <laughs> Porsche Irvine. Porsche of Irvine. Even open. Wait, what? Oh wait, is that? It's Monday. Where should we? Where should go? Park? Right. Is that Alpha on BBS wheels? Is that, oh, that's custom right there too. Oh, sorry, Porsche. Sorry. <laughs> He's bitch. Sorry. I feel like I knew that guy, dude. <laughs> I feel like that was a body shop guy. Van pool parking. Dude, dude who cares? Uh, so we're at Porsche of Irvine, which isn't there another one in? Uh, Newport. Newport, okay, Newport so this Beach. is Irvine. So we live in Irvine right here, but there's another dealership that's pretty close, but I guess this just opened up. Didn't you see it on someone's Instagram story? I saw it last week on someone's Instagram story. I drove by it, because the freeway was right there. Oh, well, and I, I was like, and I was like, oh shit, they're open. The Rolls-Royce dealership we went to, or like the BMW dealership, is like right here, and we didn't even see this place. We just drove by it, apparently. We flew my drone in this parking lot, so I guess... Uh, well, close to it, at least. <laughs> well, welcome to the vlog. Yeah, look at the front bumper. This is so fancy. I bet you this is the front entrance. It's an Alpha Julia too, it's not here. Oh shoot, that's sick. Oh, thank you. Yeah, sure. Hello, how are you doing, sir? Oh. Good, how are you? How are you? Yes, sir. You know, it's funny, as I went to a Porsche dealership in Florida, I think it was Bremen, and it feels exactly the same. Every Porsche dealership is pretty much, even smells the same here. What was here before? Nothing. Nothing? It's a piece of land. Oh, okay. Those black wheels are so sick. Oh, and it's a manual. Manual GT3. Yeah, that's the way to go. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah, that's how it should be. With sticker on it. It's 170. Hmm. But. This is a throwback interior. What? Oh, yeah. Feels like there's so much space here. It's a lot of room. Yeah. Oh, this is the color I was thinking about wrapping my car in. It's uh, this isn't Miami blue, is it? Yep. It is. Miami blue? Yep. Damn, this looks so. So as you guys know, I like to wrap my car a different color pretty often, and I think this was the color I really wanted to go with was Miami blue. I love that color. It's so like, it's not crazy different, but it's vibrant enough to where like it really stands out a lot. As you just pointed out, they're probably a little new because <laughs> they're still doing construction. It's three weeks old. <laughs> For being three weeks old, it looks like it's pretty good. I mean, I was just gonna prepare something to say on camera, but I totally forgot. Gibbs, you want to take it over and say something real quick? Uh, yeah. What do you have to say? Um, live life to the fullest. <laughs> no, no, like about know. the dealership, oh. bro. <laughs> Uh, Are you just repping DPE hard? Oh gee, DPE, I think it's fading. I think or that's a sign been. that somebody needs a new set of wheels on their car. Somebody, I don't know. I think his name's that gives on Instagram. Follow him right here. Plug, 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 plug. I like this turbo a lot. See, I would love to get like a black on black turbo S fully loaded coupe. Just has like a, I like I say it's so like nonchalant, but having it as like a daily driver, like a black black one, would be so sick. I like how they have this little touch right here that says turbo. Dude, I'm raging to the song right now. <laughs> What's the sticker? 178. Huh. It's not bad when that blue one is like 230. Or something. I like that steering wheel. Gibbs getting that picture. Oh, this color. GTS convertible. I don't like convertibles, but... I 
I drove one of these in Monterey Car Week, which was really fun. Michelin actually gave me one for a few hours and it was such a blast, especially with the turbos on these two. It's such a better car. And spec out your colors and interior and everything. Oh, these are my weakness, man. Check those out. The GTS too. I like the new screens in the new ones. In the new infotainment system? Just kind of, it's like, it looks oh, bigger. Oh yeah. It just looks better. I feel like it's more like flush too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's their signature like Porsche. Oh yeah, like 918. The wheels too stacked. It's trippy. It's crazy. I was say, I mean. Look at that TV on the wall. Damn. I love that blue one. Oh, that's so sick. That's cool, they're all numbered too. Look at this, man. This is fancy. Look at this exhaust. This is a speaker. 600 bucks. <laughs> That's so necessary, dude. That's cool. I can't go in there. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know that I drink a lot of coffee. Um, Gibbs, you think that we could split a coffee machine for the house? Oh my god. And get one of those for the house? How cool would that be? Starbucks coffee machine. <laughs> Starbucks. Starbucks. Man, what a G for that. What brand is it, though? Like Porsche? It's like actually made by Porsche. So you just press a button and it like goes up and out, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like these come in and they go down. Oh, well, that's a trick. When it comes up, it comes out and goes out like that. That's pretty dope. I like the tail lights on it. It looks really like sinister. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're like t like smoke. They're not yeah. really smoke. That's just how they come. The only red parts like in the middle. There's an M2. There's an M coupe. Is that an E63? And an E63 AMG. Mm -hmm. Let's go look at those. Those are all pre owned. Sorry to interrupt everything here. <laughs> I definitely like this dealership. It feels modern and new, but don't you feel like it's that mandatory thing we have to whisper? Kind of. Like I come in, I'm just like. Yeah, it's, it's a little quiet. It's a little quiet. It's Monday morning, though, so that explains why. Let's go. That thing is sick. I hear a Subi. Oh, it's a Cayman. Look at the seats. Didn't that sound like a Subi? Seats are sick. That's what I was saying inside. You can see that it has the sport buckets. You well, like the red on the seat too. Oh, dude, I didn't even see that. Yeah. Whoa. I like that. That looks so good. It's not for sale. With the Alcantara? Alcantara. I'm so disappointed there's no 918. There really wasn't anything that exciting. How much? 30 G's? Sample monthly payments. How much? 700. 700 bucks a month? 12.9 percent APR. That's a high APR. <laughs> oh my god. All right, this is you all day, oh, man. It looks like it's an AMG. It has AMG brakes and wheels. Is it an AMG? It has to be E63. There's no badge on the side. It's an E-Class C63 AMG. Yeah, no, it, but dude, it's all debadged. It's all AMG'd out though. But it's, it is an AMG. It's just completely debadged. Oh, shit. 42 G's, how many miles? See this, you could do the same thing for a Mini Cooper, the same price. <laughs> 35,000, I think it was this turbocharged gas. I don't think this one's turbocharged. Pretty sure this was like the last of the NA. Isn't it? I don't think it's turbo. I think it's turbo, it is, I don't know the, these cars too well. I mean, what year is it? 2000. I don't know, I don't think so, maybe now that you say that. It's clean though. I thought this was like the last of the NA. Look at this, this reminds me of Alejandro. With a Euro plate front mount. <laughs> that is iconic right there. 26 grand. It's the same year, I think, as the one uh, 99. Wow. 82,000 miles. Has that shelf spoiler? That thing is actually super clean. Next to an M2 and an R8. I like the red a lot. The red is clean. Look at that shifter. Right? Does it have a color code? Uh oh. It has an exhaust on it. Does it? Yeah. Unless that comes stock. I don't know. It doesn't say what color. I just want to drive one of these. I don't like the sound, but they look good. Well, I've heard it's a. Uh... People like it because it's, and this one's manual. Uh, people like it because they say it reminds them of the E46 M3. Oh. Because it's so small. The M3 and the M4, the new ones at least, are nice. But they're bigger? But they're just, they just feel big. Yeah. For the engine at least. And they say this one just reminds them of the E46. It's true. Because it's just so small and so much power. It is a smaller car. I just, I've never been a fan of how they sound, but how they look, like... Oh, I agree. When you get these lowered on wheels, they have such an aggressive stance, and they, they're actually really wide. Dude, it only has 6,000 miles. Damn, how much? This guy never drove it. 54 grand. 54 Gs for that. V10 2012 R8 for 98 grand. It's Tiptronic. With 10,000 miles. The funny thing is, like, all these cars back here, all the Porsches, like, it's crazy how many different model lines they have, 
but they all look pretty similar. I mean, they all have ways to tell like what they look like, but man, I just, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. What? The, um, how this thing hasn't been driven in a while, look at those brakes. Oh yeah. We're driven hard. Oh, it doesn't show it on You this found one. the perfect vehicle? No, so, uh, so on, this, on the R8, yeah. it says, it shows you the Auto Nation price, and then the Kelly Blue Book. And it says the Kelly Blue Book on this car is 125, what? and they're only asking 98. What the heck? Well, they did the no haggle price. They're just trying to wholesale stuff. But yeah, they I do, think. They don't. They don't. Yeah. Buy it, lease it, finance it. Kelly Blue Book is 42 grand. They're asking 41. Oh, dang! Watch out, 41 G's. I would rock the hell out of this thing. Those things are so dope. Except I would. Those tires, Scorpion. That's all you. It's Pirelli. Yeah. That's, I, the, that's their off-road tire. Oh. It's all you. The Range Rover? Range Rover. If it was black interior, yes. I would rock this car so hard. If I could do like a Window Tints VIP special wrap on it. Is it black? It's like a dark brown or something. You see it? How much? 77 G's? It says, oh, interior is black, ebony. Oh, well, <laughs> 77. Just customer parking. Can I buy his car? Are you selling it? Yeah. 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 Uh, I like the Macan. Cayenne, Macan, Macan, Cayenne. Out of all these cars, that corner one right there, I think that's a GTS. Turbo cab? Uh, yeah. Turbo. Turbo. It's a 2018 Turbo. Yeah? Turbo? Yeah. Back window's down. Careful. It's a Carrera S? I'm all about this one right here, dude. This, ah, uh, so clean. I love this thing. Yeah. They're like directional center lock. I'm stepping in like sandy mud. Sophie mud. What did you say this morning? Sophie mud. Sophie mud. <laughs> 146. That's a lot of money for a Carrera GTS, man. I feel like you can get so much more car for the money. Even though it's a nice car, I would just there's so much more you can get for the money. How much horsepower? How much? 450. Gas tank's open. I didn't realize it had 450 horsepower. What's MSRP? One. 146. 146. Dang. I've driven a lot of Porsches before, and I'm a big fan of the company, but like. I don't feel like I'm as excited as I was for previous generations. Like the, the what was it, the white GT3 RS 4.0? That car is awesome. That's the reason why this car is so much fun. It's a great car all around. You can drive on the track, you can daily drive it if you really wanted to. Carrera GT, sorry I'm getting your shot. That's a lot of money for a car. 140 for like a standard, well it's a GTS so it's a good car, but I don't know, personally as a car enthusiast, if they can get a lot more for the money. You're buying the brand. You're buying the name. You're buying the name and the brand. I think that's it. But it's a great car, I mean. But it's not, it doesn't excite, I 100% I agree. It does not excite. It doesn't make me feel like it's like worth the money you pay for. Yeah. Unless you buy a turbo and like do an exhaust and lower it. I would buy a turbo and keep it stock. <laughs> Daily. Yeah, right. Dude. Daily. It would. If you had the money, you would modify like the first day you get it. Daily. No, you get turbo and wheels and suspension. We don't keep any of this oh, stock. Good, yeah, we, we don't. don't stock. We strip that shit out, homie. <laughs> <laughs>